So what's the deal with this missing MCU team, and how does it tie into Marvel's whole multiverse saga? And hey, did you hear about that Captain Britain movie with Henry Cavill in the lead? Sounds like Cavill's living the dream, huh? Marvel's even confirming it's on par with Thor-level excitement. Let's hang around and chat about everything we know so far, including all the other cool stuff the MCU has cooking. Does Captain Britain still fit into the mix? Well, let's dive in and hash it out. All right, let's dive into the buzz around Captain Britain because Henry Cavill's dream of joining the MCU might just become a reality. Marvel confirmed that Cavill's vision of Captain Britain aligns with the power and charisma of Thor himself. Now, Captain Britain isn't just your run-of-the-mill superhero. He holds a special place in Marvel lore. Co-created by Chris Claremont, he's not only a fan favorite, but also one of the first characters tailored for the British comic scene. Plus, being penned by Alan Moore adds extra weight to his legacy. Over time, he's teamed up with American heroes, led Excalibur, and even headed a multiversal core of Captain Britons. So, while he might not have the same household name status as Cap or Iron Man, Captain Britain is a pivotal part of the Marvel Universe. And guess what? He's a favorite of Henry Cavill, too. Despite his stint as Superman in the now-defunct DCEU, Cavill's expressed keen interest in stepping into Captain Britain's boots. In fact, he even saw fan art depicting himself as the character and thought it would be pretty cool to take on the role. Now that he's free from his Warner Brothers contract, thanks to the DCEU winding down, the door's wide open for him to bring Captain Britain to life. But here's where things get really interesting. In Ultimate Universe No. 1, Captain Britain takes on Thor himself. Yep, you heard that right. Thor, the God of Thunder, gets a real run for his money when Captain Britain wields his Sword of Might. This marks a major leap for Captain Britain, elevating him to a whole new level of power and prominence in Marvel's new Ultimate Universe. So if Cavill's dream of playing Captain Britain does come true, he'll be more than a match for the mighty Thor. Exciting stuff, right? Let's keep our fingers crossed and see where this journey takes us. With that being said, now let's talk about why Marvel's multiverse saga, there's this big glaring gap. One of Marvel Comics' most significant multiverse teams is strangely absent from the MCU. Imagine the possibilities if they finally introduced the team led by different versions of Captain Britain. It could tie together so many threads in the multiverse saga, right? Since the Infinity Saga wrapped up, Marvel Studios has been diving deep into the whole multiverse concept, especially in projects like Loki, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But even as Phases 5 and 6 promise to delve further into multiversal mysteries, there's still one major team that hasn't made its grand entrance. Now, Phase 4 really shook things up by putting fresh spins on some of our beloved MCU heroes, thanks to the whole multiverse deal. We got a bunch of Loki variants in the Loki series, a nostalgic reunion with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in No Way Home, and even met Earth 838's Illuminati in Multiverse of Madness. And trust me, this concept is going to be huge for the MCU's future, with rumors swirling about more multiversal teams like the Council of Reeds. But guess what? The big one, the Captain Britain core straight out of the Marvel comics, is still MIA. Let's rewind a bit. Brian Braddock first donned the Captain Britain suit in 1976, but it wasn't until 84 that we got the full scoop on the Captain Britain Corps in the Mighty World of Marvel No. 13. Founded by Merlin, his daughter Roma, and Sir James Braddock, this Corps is basically a multiverse buffet of different Captain Britons. Each one's powered up by exotic particles from weak points between dimensions, which conveniently pop up around the British Isles in every reality. The Captain Britain Corps is a major player in Marvel's multiverse, safeguarding gateways between dimensions and protecting the entire multiverse. Within the 616 universe, three heroes have carried the Captain Britain mantle, Brian Braddock, his twin sister Betsy, and Kelsey Lee Kirkland. While not variations of each other, they'd be a perfect fit for the live-action MCU. Avengers Endgame dropped a tantalizing hint about the MCU's Brian Braddock. When Steve Rogers and Tony Stark zipped back to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Camp Lehigh base in 1970, Peggy Carter mentioned Braddock hasn't checked in recently. In the comics, Braddock becomes Captain Britain after a serious motorcycle crash, so maybe this radio silence stemmed from that. 
Now, Peggy might have been referring to Braddock's dad, Sir James Braddock, a big deal in the Captain Britain Corps. But even if that's the case, it still sets the stage for Brian's MCU debut. Remember Phase 4's What If? Where Peggy Carter took the super soldier serum, becoming Captain Carter? Despite her British roots, she wasn't dubbed Captain Britain, leaving room for Brian to step into the spotlight, especially given the setup in Avengers Endgame. But here's where it gets even more interesting. How could the Captain Britain Corps tie into the MCU's X-Men? Well, after an alternate Captain Britain took Brian down, his sister Betsy took up the mantle briefly. But her journey didn't end there. She became the mutant superhero Psylocke. With the X-Men poised to enter the MCU, Betsy's story could pave the way for her alongside Captain Britain, offering a fresh take on her character after her less-than-stellar portrayals in Fox's X-Men franchise. As for where the Captain Britain Corps could make their grand entrance, look no further than the multiverse saga. They're pivotal to protecting the multiverse, after all. Rumors are swirling about Henry Cavill snagging the role of Brian Braddock, though nothing's confirmed. And with upcoming Marvel projects in Phases 5 and 6, there's ample opportunity for the Corps to step into the spotlight, maybe even securing their own MCU project down the line. British actress Olivia Colman's role in Secret Invasion on Disney Plus could be a vital link to Captain Britain, particularly considering the British-centric parts of Marvel Comics' Secret Invasion storyline. And keep an eye on Captain America New World Order, it could hint at Captain Britain's debut alongside the MCU's new Cap, possibly leading to Thunderbolts. While Brian Braddock might not strut onto the scene until Phase 6, his arrival would set the stage for an epic crossover with the Avengers to cap off the multiverse saga. Exciting times ahead indeed. So let's wrap things up with this intriguing tidbit. An Avengers Endgame Easter egg might have already laid the groundwork for Captain Britain in the MCU. Now, while a Captain Britain project might not align perfectly with Bob Iger's focus on stronger brands, the seeds may have already been planted. Remember that scene where Steve Rogers heads back to S.H.I.E.L.D. HQ in the past? Peggy Carter mentions a certain S.H.I.E.L.D. agent named Braddock who hasn't checked in. And there's this mention of a meteorological event that's not lightning, sparking some wild fan theories about the introduction of X-Men legend Storm. But wait, there's more to this Braddock reference. Sure, it might seem odd for Captain Britain's alter ego Brian Braddock to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in the 70s, but hey, the MCU loves setting up family connections that lead to later-gen characters. Remember Howling Commandos member James Montgomery Fallsworth? His appearance in Captain America The First Avenger paved the way for Sonya Fallsworth's role in Secret Invasion. So maybe the Braddock mentioned in Endgame's past timeline could be the father of a modern-day Captain Britain. Now let's talk Captain Carter. Her multiversal journey replaced Steve Rogers as the Super Soldier Program subject, rocking a Union Jack-branded uniform and shield. But hey, that shouldn't stop a new Captain Britain from making an entrance. And with someone like Henry Cavill potentially stepping into the role, his star power could easily overshadow any concerns about continuity. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most.